Hey everyone, I welcome all of you on my YouTube channel, Deepak Samnani's YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We are going to cover here complete engineering maths, complete engineering maths for GATE and IES. And even semester exams, you can watch these videos. These are very nice videos because I am creating it. So that's why. <laughs> so I am actually, really, I am covering entire syllabus and I am trying my best that you can score best marks or even full marks in GATE. If you will be if you are a very serious candidate and if you watch all the video series all the video series then then pakka you can score very good marks in gate okay now without wasting your time i'll i'll just stop start the other part is the so let's solve these two questions here let's solve these two questions question is the function fx is x sin x which satisfy the following equation that you have to differentiate it twice plus fx plus t cos x equal to zero so first see what is fx, fx is given as x sin x, fx is x sin, so f dash x is 1 into sin x plus, now <coughs> if f into g, if you have to differentiate f into g, so first differentiate f, keep g constant, then differentiate g, keep f constant. Keep f constant. Okay. No. So one differential x is one into sine x plus x same. The sine x will be sine x will be cos x, right? Now what is f double dash x? F double dash x will be differentiation of sine x is cos x. And again u into v. So differentiation of x is one. That is one cos x plus x same. Differentiation of cos x is minus sine x. So f double dash x will be 2 cos x minus x sin x. 2 cos x minus x sin x, 2 cos x minus x. So what they ask? They are asking f double dash x plus fx. What is f double dash x plus fx plus t cos x? And this is equal to 0. So keep them 2 cos x minus x sin x plus x sin x that will be 2 cos x correct i'm adding these two so if you add this x sin x x sin x cancel out so 2 cos x plus t cos x equal to so cos x common t plus 2 equal to 0 okay so either cos x equal to 0 or t plus 2 equal to 0 so they're asking what is the value of t value of t will be minus 2. Yes. Value of t will be minus 2 because this condition is true when either t is minus 2 or cos x equal to 0. Cos x equal to 0 and cos x is 0 at x equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2, right? At 2n, at pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, minus pi by 2, minus 5 by 2. So odd multiple of pi by 2 cos x is 0. So x value is this and t value is minus 2. For both these cases, this condition will satisfy. So what is the answer? Answer is minus 2. <coughs> t is minus 2. Is the answer. Clear? So I hope it is. It is clear to you. It is clear to you. Now, another question I want to take that is this. <coughs> this is the question. Another good question. Asked in gate. First, let's read this. A function fx is defined as. One second. I am very sorry. So function fx is defined as fx equal to ex when x is less than 1 and fx equal to ln x plus ax square plus bx when x is greater than or equal to 1. This is given. So it is a piecewise function, piecewise function which is changing its definition at x equal to 1. At x equal to 1. So he is asking you the differentiability or continuity at x equal to 1. So here he is asking that whether it is differentiable at x equal to 1 or not. It is differentiable. It is differentiable. It is differentiable. So, for what values of a and b is asking that it is differentiable? It is differentiable. Okay. Now, a function in the last video, I have already covered the relation between continuity and differentiability. Relation between continuity and differentiability. I told that if a function is differentiable, then it has to be continuous. So, it is already discussed in the last video. If you have not watched the last video, please watch it. If fx is 
डिफरेंशियबल एट एक्स इक्वल टू ए दिस इंप्लाइज दैट एफ एक्स इज पक्का कंटिन्यूस एट एक्स इक्वल टू ए कंटिन्यूस एट एक्स इक्वल टू ए ओके एट दिस पॉइंट दिस इज कंटिन्यूस दिस आई ऑलरेडी प्रूव्ड इन लास्ट वीडियो जस्ट वॉच दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड at x equal to 1 he is saying that we have to check the differentiability if it is differentiable at x equal to 1 if fx is now i am assuming that it is differentiable differentiable at x equal to 1 if fx is differentiable at x equal to 1 then fx is continuous at x equal to 1 so it means that At x equal to one, left hand limit should be equal to right hand limit. So from left hand limit, you can see x tend to if you are approaching to x from left side, one minus side, then function is e x. So e to the power one. So L H L is actually e to the power one. Okay. Now I am not doing that limit x tend to one minus and then writing the function and then I am giving the answer. No. In the last video, I have already explained that how to find it. Now we can directly use it and save some steps. Save some steps. RHL when x greater than one, when you are approaching from right hand side, so this function is ln x plus a x square plus b x. Put one here. Ln one is zero. A into one square is a plus b. So it is a plus b. So it means that if function is differentiable, then a plus b has to be equal to e. This is the first condition. A plus b must be equal to e if function is differentiable at x equal to one. Now this condition should be satisfied. now as it is differentiable in the last video itself i discussed that if it is differentiable you don't need to apply that limit x if it is continuous then you don't need to apply that limit x tend to a of fx minus fa upon x minus a to check the differentiability you can directly differentiate the second step is you directly differentiate it so what is f dash x directly differentiate it because it is continuous for this condition then directly we can differentiate it so differentiate it e to the power x differentiation is e to the power x when x is less than 1 and when x is greater than equal to 1 when x is greater than equal to 1 then you can differentiate this ln x will be 1 by x plus 2x plus b 1 by x plus 2x plus b now for x equal to 1 for x equal to 1 this is lsd I am talking only about x equal to one. If you are talking about x equal to minus three, this is both LSD and RSD. I am talking about x equal to one. For x equal to one, this is the RSD. This is the RSD for x equal to one. Now at x equal to one, I have to see what is left hand derivative. Just put the value. X equal to one, it is e. At x equal to one, RSD is RSD is one plus Two a plus b. This is the RST. One plus two a plus b. One plus two a plus b. Now, if function is differentiable, then two a plus b plus one is equal to e. Then this condition should be satisfied. And from both these condition, we can find a and b. As we know, a plus b is zero, so this can be written as a a plus b plus one equal to e. And a plus b is zero. I will just distribute. Or you can write a from here. A is e minus b. Put it here. Get B. So A plus B is E. So A plus E plus one is equal to E. A plus E plus one equal to E. E E cancel out. E E cancel out. So A is minus one. A is minus one. A is minus one. A is minus one. Clear? If A is minus one, B will be. B will be E minus A. That is E plus one. So for this unique value of a and b, when a is one and b is one plus e, then this function is continuous and differentiable, or you can say it is differentiable. Because if it is differentiable, then pakka it is continuous, and pakka it is continuous. Now you can see the options. F of x is not differentiable at x equal to one for any value. No, it is differentiable for one value. F of x is differentiable at x equal to one for unique value of a and b. This is true. For this unique value, when a is equal to minus one and b is equal to one plus e, then it is differentiable. Then it is differentiable. True. F x is different for all values. No. At x equal to for all values of a and b. No. 
is differentiable for all values of a and b such that a plus b is equal to e such that a plus b is equal to e no because when a plus b equal to e and if this is not true when a plus b equal to e it is continuous it is continuous but continuity doesn't imply differentiability a continuous function may be differentiable may not be differentiable if it has to be differentiable then lsd equal to rsd these both the conditions has to be satisfied both the conditions has to be satisfied then only you can say that it is a differentiable function okay so for only one value for only one unique value this function is differentiable so b is correct answer b is correct answer i hope you are understanding thank you for watching the videos